What's going on guys? I'm Tim Mahoney. And I'm Anthony. We're back with another episode of our DIY Till I Die budget build truck. What are we gonna talk about today, Anthony? Dude, one of my favorite subjects. We just installed a six-speed conversion kit in the LB7. Now, I know you guys have seen that product for quite a while. We've been out since I started here, about five years yeah, we've five, been having that five product. Five years. Uh, have made some adjustments, some upgrades along the way, like anything, but it's been a pretty stellar product for us, I'd say. Yeah, and I know that uh, when we first came out with the product, my personal truck, I had a green LB7 years ago. That was kind of the test mule, if you will. I know we mm -hmm. test all the TCMs before we ship them out. So that truck had- QC rig, man. Yeah, it was 200, 250 plus TCMs <laughs> ran through that thing before we, uh, before I got rid of it. Um, I have one in my 05 LOI now. So the six-speed kit is something that I kind of hold near and dear to my heart. Put a lot of miles on it. I'm very familiar with how it runs, drives, and I was very excited when we were gonna actually put one in this truck as well. One of the best bang for your buck uh, feeling things you can do for your yeah. vehicle, right? Like you get in a new truck, um, my new truck's got uh, 10 gears in it, right? So going down the highway, going to lunch, even even out here, get up 60, 65 mile an hour. I'm in 10th gear, you know, 1600 yeah. RPMs just cruising. You take one of these trucks out after you've been in a six-speed truck and that thing's humming along. You feel like you're spoiled. Yep. Even going to an 06, you get into anything 01 to 05 and you're like, holy shit, this thing is just singing on the highway. So um, that's something where you see a pretty significant drop, roughly about 14%, depending on you know gear ratios, tire size, things like that. Um, but something you put in there, your road noise is down, your drivability's up, RPMs are down and mile per gallon's up. Exactly. Depending up. on how you drive it, you save some mileage as about well. About 200 RPM, I think, is what it comes out to, right? It changes. We actually have a calculator on our, I believe, on our blog for. It might be on the link to the product page as well, where you type in your gear ratio, type in your tire size, and it lays out what RPM you would expect um, when you're in that six gear. Perfect. So this is going to be great, not only for the performance stuff we're going to do for the truck, but also our trips we're talking about yeah. doing, pulling the trailer being able to get into that sixth gear when you're pulling the trailer and you want to be at that R RPM, mm -hmm. but also have the ability of like, hey, you know, the truck does pull pretty strong in fifth stock. And if we can find that right mile an hour, which with the six speed conversion, we got it pretty dialed in, you know, you get up that 70, 75 with a trailer, like I want to be in that sixth gear, right? So. Yeah. And I know we've all been in a scenario where you merge on the highway in 70, 75 miles an hour. I mean, it's over 2000 RPMs and it's singing. That's just miserable. You don't want to be stuck in the right lane the whole time when you got a trailer, especially since we're going to be going through Nebraska, which is just flat as could be a straight line, I feel like for the big trip, that's going to be nice where we can go down a gear, bring that mile an hour up and you know, save some time, save some mileage in the process. Install, what did that look like, Anthony? We got this thing, Roughly, just, a, just a couple of us guys hanging out, right? I mean, it took probably, what, 12 Diet Cokes and about three hours for us to knock this thing out. Yep. Um, pretty straightforward install. We've got instructions. We've got a couple of videos in the past that kind of give a brief overview, but none of us are text by any means. I'm pretty sure we just raided the guy's toolbox after hours and knocked this thing out in a few hours. So pretty straightforward for us. The three people installed it had never installed one before and it ran and shifted uh, completely fine after. Um, definitely doable in your garage. You can do it on your back. Uh, we chose to use the drive on because why not? Um, good. Also good time to uh, check the health of the trans, check the filters, put some new fluid in there, stuff like that. Good time for a service interval. I mean, you're pulling the valve body out. You got to pull the um, internal filter to get that out anyway. So you might as well check your filters. The spin on's right there. It's an extra two minutes to get that, you know, uh, filter taken care of. So good opportunity to see your trans, understand maybe a couple things you might not have seen internally before. And like we were saying, good chance for a little bit of uh, service to take place. All right, guys, we look forward to putting some miles on this truck, getting down our, our list of things to change, start adding some power. Uh, that's about it for this one. All right, we'll see you.